Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of DavCraft. Davk is here, and today we're going to do a little bit of decorating around the house area. Uh, as you probably noticed, a few things have changed here. Um, all of my stuff is no longer here in the, in the uh, main room here. Uh, and I'll show you kind of what I did with that here in just a minute. Uh, well, actually, in no time like the present. Uh, first, we're going to go take care of that spider you see there in the corner. So, let's see. Come here, you. There you are. Come here. Come here. Gotcha. Okay. Causing problems. Good, I'm the only one on, so let's go ahead and sleep this off over here. Come on now. But I've been doing some work around here, and um, I'll show you a bit of what I've been doing. Um, been kind of cleaning some stuff up. Um, and kind of getting set up for uh, what we're going to do today. Let's see, will it let me sleep now? Yes, it will. Um, I think you guys are going to kind of like some of the stuff I've done so far. So, first off, as I said before, you notice all of my stuff is gone. <gasps> I don't know, what did it, where did it go? I don't know where it went. Um, <laughs> so, what I've done is... Um, why do I have string? What I've done is I got kind of tired of uh, people just coming in here and going through all of my stuff. So you might see this thing back here. What is this? Why is that there? This doesn't do anything. Why is that there? Well, what we do is we pop that off of here. We'll come around right here. There we go. Put that back there. Oh, what is this? I have set up... Ha ha! Set up a bit of a, a little secret underground area here. Uh, I guess it's not so secret now that I've told you about it. But, um, I, I can kind of walk you through a little bit. Um, so as we saw, that there's that's the one specific spot that you have to put the, uh, the lever on in order f to open it. And uh, it uses a little RS nor latch over here um, so that when you put the lever over here on that bit of the, uh, the stairs, it will turn this on. It'll set this to where the pistons will open, but they won't close whenever the redstone signal goes away. Man, you guys are so loud. Uh, let's see. Let's turn you guys way down. Ah, oh, that's so much better. Okay, so when the redstone signal turns on, it'll set this thing to where the pistons will open. But when the redstone signal goes away, this will still stay set to where the pistons are open. So I can come down here and then hit this pressure plate when I get off the ladder, and this will set it and reset the RS nor latch to close the pistons. So they'll only be open while I'm coming in here, and then I hit the, the pressure plate pressure plate and they close again and then when I want to go out I just go up the ladder here and push this button pop out here grab our lever again put it right here and that's where our signal is in order to close them so it's kind of a, a neat little thing. I'm going to try and re rework it just a little bit because there's a bit of an issue that I, uh, I kind of stumbled upon where uh, this thing will actually kill me. I've actually died to this thing at least three times now uh, because what I, what I was doing was I wasn't really thinking about it and I was jumping off the ladder like that, not hitting the pressure plate, and so the uh, the pistons would stay open so I'd come down here and I'd be doing stuff and I'd forget about it. I'd come back here, hit the pressure plate, and then I'd start to go up. And they would close on me. I couldn't get out. So I'd die and I'd have to come back and get all my stuff. Not fun. So I think I may rework that a little bit. I don't know. It may just be I can't not hit the pressure plate. But we'll see. 
Uh, so I set up a little enchanting area with an anvil, and I've got some enchanted books here that I got from a uh, uh, that I'm eventually going to be using. Um, I got a fortune pick almost right off the bat, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, and if we come down here, I've got a bit of a storage area going here, much better than what I had upstairs. Um, kind of tried to get organized here. Got all my cobblestone, some plant type stuff. So I'm a bit more organized than I was. Uh, I don't just have random stuff in a chest. So got a few diamonds here. Need to get more. Uh, do I have anything in here? Ooh, food. Give me anything. Give me the food. I thought I had emptied this out already. So anyway, uh, basically what we're going to kind of do today is we are going to be doing some decorating around the house area. And let's close you back. I keep moving the uh, the lever so that it throws people off. So I've done a little bit of work already around here. I've got the basic road system set up. I want to kind of change this up a little bit because I think the cobblestone, just the cobblestone, gets a little uh, monotonous after a while. So I think I'm going to kind of mix in some smooth stone in here. Um, and I don't really have a lot of mossy cobblestone, but I might put a little bit of that in there too. We'll have to see how that looks. Um, so... What we're going to be doing is, uh, I'd like to set up some outdoor lighting, kind of get rid of these torches, um, and set up some lamp posts and some things like that around here. And I've got a really cool idea f that I got. Oh, I don't remember. I, I'll, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to look it up again. But um, I got this a really cool idea for a daylight sensing lamp that will turn on once, uh, once it turns night. And uh, they look really cool, and they they work really. They're they're really cool. Um, but one of the major things that we're going to be doing today, along with setting up some of the outdoor lighting, is I have a bit of a problem. Um, also, I'm really happy with how this turned out. This is this just looks really cool, and it makes it really easy to go up this hill. Um, but I have a bit of a problem when I want to go to spawn. So I come up the hill, and I always have to go down this valley and then right back up. And I can't stand it. It it annoys me. So what I'm actually going to do today is we're going to take this little valley here, and we're going to turn this into a, a river that's going to go right through here. Uh, these trees will go away and it's going to come through here we're going to tear do a bunch of terraforming through here uh, it's going to come through here uh, it'll kind of flow out into this little pool area here and then it will also connect over to this bit of water over here so it's just going to come right through there um, and uh, over here at the top of this hill yeah right here we're going to kind of terraform this a little bit and actually turn this into a little hilltop lake pond thing that's actually going to feed water into uh, our river that's going to be running right through there. So we're going to connect that body of water over there to the bit of water over here. And I think it'll look really cool. And then once we've got the river set up... Um, yo! If I can type... There we go. Once we got our river set up, then I'm going to actually make a bridge going from this hill across to over there. That way we don't have to keep going down into the valley and then right back out. And it'll just make it a lot faster to get across there. So I'm going to get kind of set up here. And um, I'm not going to show the whole th process of turning this into a river because it's a lot of terraforming and then placing a whole lot of water in here. So um, I'm going to do a lot of that off camera, but uh, I'll show you parts uh, as I go and give you guys some updates while I'm going. So 
Uh, I will see you here in a few minutes. Okay, so what we're going to do to start out with is I went through and I've already started clear, clearing up those trees. Uh, the branches will eventually go away. Um, but basically what we need to do is we need to have a flat surface to put the water on so that we can get sor uh, all source blocks, uh, which just makes it a bit easier. Um, and so I think what we're going to do is we're going to use this, this level that I'm currently on here, uh, 64. So what we're going to do is just kind of level this out, fill in it, all of the holes, kind of widen this a little bit down here, um, and just make sure that it's going to be 64 all the way across over to through here. Uh, so we'll have to fill in all of this. Um, this will ha oh, this part through here will have to come out, and uh, we'll just make this whole thing level 64. I heard you. Where'd you go? Uh, you must be under there. You are. Spiders are keep messing with me. Um, so yeah, we'll just go through here and terraform this and uh, make it all 64, except for this little area because I want the water to come through here and just kind of spill out to right here. I don't want it to go any farther than here. Um, so I want it to end up at that point. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get started doing that and I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, so we got all of this flattened out. It's flat and nice and wide all the way through here. Uh, those trees finally went away. Kind of narrows out right here. And oops, I forgot about this side. Now I've been doing a little bit of planning with the uh, with the bridge in creative, and I came up with something that actually I think I'm, I'm really happy with. It looks really cool. So um, I found that by planning in creative before I actually start building here. Um, let's turn that down just a little bit. Sorry everybody. I should turn the whole thing down just a tiny bit. That's a little better. So, what was I saying? Um, planning and creative, I tend to uh, find that helps me kind of straighten out some of the problems before I actually try and build them on camera with you guys. Um, so it, it just kind of it makes things go a little smoother, and uh, I can do a lot of the tedious playing around with uh, with stuff uh, ahead of time, and uh, that way I don't end up boring you guys with all of the uh, the tedious stuff of uh, does this color look better with this color things like that. So uh, with that now, what we need to do is start put uh, filling this in with water, and I. Th I think we're about to run out of daylight here, so let's go up here and sleep real quick. Alright, now we can get back to work. So, um, what we're going to do is now we're going to fill this in with water. Take all my torches back so I don't lose them. Okay, that should be good. Get another bucket here. All right, and we're just gonna start going to town here. Uh, I'd like to have this kind of come off this way a little bit, so let's kind of fill this in just a little bit here. There we go. That way, it kind of comes out easily. Uh -huh.
Oh, what hit me? Nah. Of course, she's up here hitting me, and I almost died. So, we've got our water in place now. Uh, let's see if we can kind of even that up a little bit, make that still water here. There we go. That looks better. Okay, so we've gone through and we've now got our river in place. Uh, it actually looks really nice the way it turned out. Hey, Neil, I fixed you already. Here we go. Almost. It looks really nice. Uh, now we need to set up the hilltop lake over here. Uh, but basically this kind of goes on around like we had originally intended. It kind of spills over into that little pond area over there and then goes right out to this bigger river ocean thing. So uh, now that we've got that, let's kind of let's get ourselves set up up here. And what I'd like to do is there, there's a nice little it, it, it's set up already to where it kind of frames where I'd like the, wa uh, the water to come down already. So I think we're going to use that to our advantage here. Let's fill in this a little bit. Because we want this to come up right here. We're going to kind of give it a, a look like it has uh, been sort of weathered down. So we want it to kind of frame nicely. There we go. That should work. Now we can fill this in a little more. There we go. That should be good. Okay, now let's kind of dig out the rest of this here. Chickens everywhere. Okay. Oh no! We got a chicken that's stuck here. Let's see if we can kind of push him out here. Come on, Mr. Chicken, you can get out. There he goes. There we go. Alright, let's go over to the other side and see how this looks here. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Kind of comes right on down, and yeah, I like that. Hmm, I wonder if it would look better if we kind of dug, if we dug out that just a little more to where it didn't stick out over the edge of the dirt there. Let's well, let's try that.
So let's block this off here. Okay, so let's dig this out a little more. Actually, let's put that one back. She's talking about the nether. Um, I actually came up with an idea for a small business I'd like to start um, for people on the server. And basically what I'd like to do is... Uh, I know she came on the server the other day and found that uh, there were there was a pig man in her, uh, in her tree house over there. So I thought of an idea. What I'm going to do is set up uh, Davkus's um, nether portal uh, design and repair and basically what I'm going to do is offer services to people on the server um, where for a small fee they can um, I can go in and set up a toggle system. Yeah, that looks good. A uh, toggle system so they can turn their portals on and off. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. I like how that looks. Alright, let's kind of fix this this side, these two sides up here a little bit and then I think that'll be good. So let's put in dirt there, there, and there. go. Yeah, that looks really good. And there, there, and there. Yeah, that looks really good. Let's come over here and look at it. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks awesome. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, so yeah, that's that's gonna be good. And then our hilltop lake over here. Kind of fill in some of these corners I left a little. Really? Fill in some of these corners a little bit. There we go. That looks good. I think we did good here. Can I get this to not... No, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this to not do that. Okay, that's right. Alright, so we've got the, the water part of this done, and it looks really, really nice. I think we'll be able to work with that. So next, uh, once we sleep uh, we should be able to start working on the actual bridge that goes across there. Somebody just came out of the nether again. What she doesn't know is that I have a second bed. second bed in here. Ah, I can tell she's been in here again. Yeah, I really need to fix this to where the people can't do that. <sighs> I 
so much for keeping people out, I guess. Well, we tried. As long as she puts the planks back, I don't really care. Okay. Alright, so now that we have our water in place, we have a nice little river going through here, it makes the uh, landscape look really awesome. Now I would like to set up the bridge. So, what we're going to do is we're going to actually do the actual surface of the bridge first. We're going to do the surface of the bridge first, the part you walk on, and then we're going to kind of build up around that. So I'm going to set that up and I'll be right back. 